uh, welcome again and this is my new project online quiz system and uh, that is the multiple choice questions uh, quiz system which i have developed in java jsp and mysql i am running this project over the tomcat server and but if you are using the netbeans or the eclipse server then you can easily configure this project on the netbeans or eclipse so for database i am using the mysql and uh, for connecting the database with the java i am using the java connector that is the mysql j connector which you will get from the mysql.org website okay so <clears throat> this is the back end and the server part on front end we are using the html css and javascript some of the jquery library for giving some good effects as you are seeing this is the slider and it's coming from the jquery also for date calendar plugin integrations i am using the jquery for form validations i am using the jquery also uh, this is the small bootstrap theme i am not saying that this is a fully uh, responsive theme this is a but this this is a bootstrap theme means if you uh, shrink the screen or if you open this uh, web application in tab or in uh, mobile then the screen size will be fit out according to the device or the screen length okay so this is all about the technology uh, so the title of this project is the online quiz system that is a multiple choice questions uh, mcq based quiz systems and uh, here uh, the main feature is a student can also add the descriptive questions uh, answers right so let's start with the functionality so this is the home page of the project right and this is the slider so you can change the image and the text from the html file directly this is the about us page and this is the stu student login so uh, there are two roles are available in the system that is the student and the admin so a student has different functionality and admin has different functionality means a student will only be uh, only attempt the exam but the admin can add any number of uh, students and can add any number of exams and questions right so this is a student login this is the admin login and the contact us the same menu you are uh, seeing it here also the above section right so uh, i am logging as an admin first so this is the admin login and this is the admin dashboard so the above menu is the role based system menu right if i log out from the system then the above menu will be changed as you can see the above menu has been changed and if i log in with the login with the system then the above menu will be changed right right so as you can see uh, the dashboard has been changed right and uh, if i uh, log out and log in as a student then the above menu will be changed according to the student so you can see the above menu is changed according to the student right so i am logging as an admin first so this is the admin and uh, you can see this operations admin can perform and also from here this is the add student form from where admin will be add the student details and also admin will be able to set the uh, user id and password of the student from where from which the user, uh, student will be able to log in this is the add system user means admin will be able to add new uh, admins also means uh, this system can be operated by multiple admins this is the add branch so add branch for sections and add codes right so this branch all the drop downs of this projects are dynamic means the value of those drop downs are coming from the database this is the add course right and then add exam type so the, uh, what type of exams and add exam this is the exam section so you can see these are the three drop downs and all the, of the drop downs are dynamic this is the add question part from where admin will be able to add the question so one more thing i want to show you right so <laughs> there are this is the name and the select exam and the uh, subjects and the question type there are two types of questions that is the objective then you can see the objective questions has option one two three four five and the correct answer so this is the option ob objective and once you click on the subjective then you can see the above uh, the section has been changed I means the in subjective you will provide the keywords and according to that keyword the answer will be evaluated right so this is the objective part where the options has been changed and in subjective parts the it's asking for the keyword right so according to that keyword the now answer will be matched and it will be evaluated right 
so this is the main feature means you can add the subjective questions as well as the objective questions right and this is the reports this is the add session again this is for drop down this is the system user report from where you will be able to add or edit the uh, employee details right this is the student report from where you will be able to see all of the student details here right this is the branch report all of the branches which you have added will be displayed here and then the course report all of the courses which you have added will be displayed here also you will be able to update and delete the courses here right this is the exam type that what type of exam it's uh, then this all exam types are here exam report then what are the exams then it will be here and then uh, exam reports and the question reports so these are the questions and then these are the session report so this all are the uh, reports parts okay so one more thing i want to show you right that is the question report and you can see the this one right this one is a subjective question where the question is what is the return operator of this xyz right and this is option one two three four and if i go inside the this one right then it will the subjective question right okay so this uh, this is the session report and the question reports so all the reports are here okay now I am logging. I'm, uh, this is one one part. This is the change password section from where you will be able to change the password and the logout section, right? Now I am going to log in as a student. That is the sorry. I think user ID is wrong. That is the sorry. right and this after logging to the student section you can see the dashboard menu is also changed and the above menu bar is also changed right and if you click on the exam papers then currently a student will be able to uh, give only the java exam paper right because he has already attempted the php exam papers now what i am going to do that i am going to delete all of the results and let me show you I am deleting the result section and let me show you the part right okay so so you can if if i refresh this page then you can see now uh, i have deleted the exam uh, attempted by the student there are two questions the php exam paper and the java exam papers right and now i am going to attempt so there is a exam papers and the my result sections so there is no result forms my account sections and the change passwords so now i am going on the exam paper i am going to attempt the php exam paper now th there are total questions eight and you are on the question number one right then when compared to compile program so i am attempting the questions right so you can see the questions are <coughs> right and then i am just choosing any and what is php then this is the subjective as you can see that the previous one was objective now this is the subjective php is a web development language which and we can use mysql as database in php right so i have added this and the next question and what is mysql mysql is a database okay which connects with php easily okay and the finish the exam so once you click on the finish the exams then you will be able to see then uh the result of and what is the your answer what is the correct answer and what is the results right send this is all about the uh, result part of your result part right and this is the my result section so it, wait i think uh, there is some issue with the results so it will be fixed right and again uh, you can attempt the java questions also right so there are five questions here 
right then i am attempting i am choosing some random things and once i click the finish the exams then you will be able to see all of the details here that in fact all the first one the second one is correct and all are incorrect right then uh this is all about the and once you click on the exam paper then because both exam has been given by the students then you can see the, no exam has been scheduled for your course yet you and you have already given all of the exams right again this is a my account section from where you will be able to means student will be able to update his account details and the change password from where student will be able to update his password in the logout section so this is all about the project online quiz systems and uh, i have developed this project as i already told you that i have developed this project in ph sorry in java jsp and mysql and i am running this project on the tomcat server and if you need more feature in this project just put it into the comment i will incorporate and i will make this project more better and better according to your requirements and don't forget to subscribe our channel for getting the latest video updates on the latest technologies thanks for watching the video thank you very much